Crashing, crashing. All right, maybe not. So every time I think about this next step we're going to talk about, I think about Aerosmith's Cryon Song. Cancer prevention, neuroprotective, specifically Parkinson's, depression, male fertility, diabetes, heart protective, liver protective, kidney protective, asthma. Sounds like the latest and greatest miracle supplement, right? Seems like just about every other month, or maybe even every month, there's some new supplement that's getting pushed around by the media and all the sales reps. I know we experience it here, people coming in all the time, here's the latest and greatest, trying to sell us on everything. Well, it's not new. In fact, it's pretty much been around since the beginning of time and is part of the reason for so many benefits of passion flower and honey. So what are we talking about? We're talking about Chrysin. Chrysin. C-H-R-Y-S-I-N. The main places that Chrysin are derived from are passion flower, silver linden, geranium species, skullcap, honey, and brief B propolis. So if you're a bodybuilder, you might already be familiar with Chrysin. It's very commonly found in bodybuilding supplements since it's well known for its ability to help increase testosterone by inhibiting aromatase enzymes, which convert testosterone into estrogens, which is typically what bodybuilders and most men don't want. But how does it do all of these amazing, miracle-inspiring actions? One of the amazing mechanisms of action lies in its anti-inflammatory effects, but it actually works in several different ways. Number one, it can decrease activity of NF-kappa-V, which controls inflammation, immunity, cell division, and cell survival. Number two, it also acts as a COX-2 inhibitor, which again, induces inflammation. Decrease inflammation, two thumbs up. It also shows effects of decreasing levels of prostaglandin E2, another pro-inflammatory chemical. So in regards to brain function, Parkinson's depression has been shown to increase brain-derived nootropic factors, which help with neuroplasticity, i.e. learning and memory. They also show positive effects on reducing depressive behaviors and brain hippocampus dysfunction. So because of the effects of crisis on hormone levels, it is recommended to avoid this if you are on medications for hormones and less directed by a doctor or if you've been treating for cancers that are sensitive to estrogen levels, such as breast cancers. So let me be ultra clear here. If you are on birth control, do not take Chrysin unless you want a little bundle of joy, particularly if you're on an estrogen-based birth control. And I'll just kind of add in here, I'm not a huge fan of birth control. Yes, there's a time in place, but there are side effects. So common dosages of Chrysin range from 500 to 700 milligrams per day. Synergy, things working together. Some other supplements that can be helpful and often used in combination with Chrysin partially depend on the effects or purpose for which you're taking it. For example, if the purpose is for hormone balance, you might combine it with saw palmetto, DIM, calcium glucurate, pine bark, maca. If the purpose is for depression, you might combine it with 5-HTP, SAME, St. John's wort, or other things. And if the purpose is neurodegeneration, you might combine it with CoQ10, phosphatidylserine, acetylcholine, ginkgo, ginseng, etc. Oftentimes patients, and myself included, we can suffer from analysis paralysis. There's so many choices that you actually don't end up making a choice. And that is where functional medicine doctors come in. We can help you pick the lowest hanging fruit, so to speak, to have the biggest, biggest benefits from the lowest effort. So give our office a call to make an appointment. We do online and in-person appointments all over the world. You can also go to ifm.org to find another practitioner if you don't feel like we're a good fit for you, or if you wanna be in person and you're out of our state. I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy, be happy. And remember, disclaimer, just because I gave you information does not mean that I am treating you.